Question. Baphomet represents the accomplishment of reaching the higher self. And what does reaching the higher self mean? Your higher self is you awakened to your deepest truths in hidden personal knowledge. There you go. That's your answer. Have a good day. You want more? Oh, oh well, okay. To begin with, finding your deepest truth, that can be a bitch. Because the only way that you can find it is by facing the horrors of the dark absolute of your being, which is scary. See, that's, that's the problem with the Abrahamic faiths, like namely Christianity. You personally can never face the darkness if you have an outside force doing the battling for you, you know, like Jesus. Baphomet, though, points the way not to a battle, but to a greater understanding, to an awakening. It's like this. Most move through existence asleep. But those who are asleep have the potential of being awakened. They can be nudged, shaken, slapped into wakeful, wakefulness and out of the dream state. But many of those who say they want to be awakened are fearful and would rather stay in that certain blissful comfort in sleep, the latent memory of the womb. That type of person can be found everywhere, even here in the occult community. You, you see them all the time. They open a book, a grimoire, read a spell or incantation, but the words are just words, shapes on a page whose meaning does not penetrate to the lower level below the ego mind. It's like this, anyone can pick up a cookbook, follow the directions and prepare a meal, but very few are true chefs. I knew this girl way back when who got straight A's in high school, but was one of the dumbest individuals I have ever met. She could do the work, but the ideas and concepts didn't penetrate. She simply regurgitated what she took in, and there it stayed, on the paper. Those who simply go about the motions will never learn the deeper psychological truths of this path. Their goal isn't to reach the higher self. They simply want to dance, if you will. Now. There's still another type out there, and we see them all the time. They're everywhere. They're the NPCs, and they can never be awakened because they're not sleeping. They're dead, soulless, inanimate objects taking on human characteristics, empty shells of humanity, shadows on a wall, are they manifested by the collective will of the awakened to help fill the background of reality like extras in a movie? Who knows? But they do exist. In conclusion, Baphomet is a map or formula showing how the lower self, the ego, can be fused with your highest ideals, your God because that's what self-deification is, right? You and that divine spark within becoming one. Until next time.